people? Welcome back. More Daily Duel. So today is Monday. It means we're using Teller Knight. But I want to try something new, and I want to try something different. So last week, I talked about how, of course, Teller Knights got hit on, uh, well, will be getting hit. And I pretty much was predicting what I thought was going to get hit. Lots of you guys suggested other things, and, you know, that's cool too. But like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if they literally just go, all right, Altair to one. That would really kill the mech. I mean, you go Altair to Nevin and search for whom, you know? So... I was like, alright, well, I went ahead and uh, put my neck out there and, just, and said, like, alright, well, maybe they'll do this, this, and this, and, uh, oh, will Teller Knights be dead after that? I don't know. So, with the hits that I said in last week's Teller Knight video, I pretty much tried to make a Teller Knight deck that, uh, <laughs> is going to run cards like that. It's going to run as if the Teller Knights got hit, and this is what's left of them, you know? So, like I said, Rudder to 1, I'll Dead up to one and trip to one. So we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do. Good thing I have Torrental and there's not a lot of Despot Pendulum. Oh wow, he's only gonna summon one. That that's crazy. He's only gonna Pendulum summon one. I really thought he was gonna go balls deep, drop the whole fucking deck at my ass. I thought I was gonna have to fucking just stop that. But mm, yeah. I if I didn't open with the Torrental, I was probably gonna hold on to it and you know do the Thunder King. So what do you do when you're summoning? This card is no summon. You can special summon one Death Star Nuts from your deck. Once return during either opponent's turn, you can target one Death Wow. So uh, my opponent here is just going super balls deep, summoning and plussing and getting resources. So obviously when you're summoned, you go ahead and special summon a Death Bot monster from your deck. So I'll just go ahead and allow you to do that, and I'll turn to one I'm good and ready. Oh, but you're a Pendulum Monster. Okay, well, I'm going to have to turn to now, because that's obvious. I mean, you're already targeting it, but yeah, I thought you were going to maybe get an additional summon. So you go back to the extra deck, but you could be Pendulum Summon back later. That's like, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I, and I, cause I didn't open up the best assist. Not even close. Not even close. Oh, I got my run murder. Yes. All right, so at least I can get into this duel. Into this duel. That's not bad. Not bad. Uh, let's see, what else? That's going well. That's going well. Uh, I lose, I've, I've lost at least a half a pound every day. And this is like without exercising or anything. Like, this is, this, I'm going pretty well, people. Pretty well. Wow. So, he's just gonna go ahead and special summon and get his search on. So, of course, you're running the Unuks, the Tribs, the everything. The everything? The everything, people. The everything. Mmm. This is a tough one. This really is a tough one. So I'm gonna Rota Surge. I can go Vega. So I'm an Unu. Drop the one Deneb. Because I can. And then I can go ahead and add Oasis. Activate. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and grab Unu. So, the suck thing is that my opponent's clearly gonna get a search off. So it's pretty cool using that powerful burst to go ahead and summon your death spot. This is a pretty snazzy idea, I must say. And which one are you? You're the one that's one that's normal summon. I get to go ahead and summon from a deck. Like. Clearly my opponent's trying to jump me here with the power of Despots. Clearly. So we'll go ahead and summon the Yanuk. Yeah. Like I said, I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they go ahead and hit Altair down to one, but that would seriously just destroy the deck. It's bad enough that I'm inconsistent now, so maybe they'll leave me alone, I'm not sure. But we'll try, we'll try. I'm not looking, and the good thing is right now, I'm not looking even in the best situation right now. I could triv, but, you know, what would be the point? You could just set up a scales and Pendulum Summon and jump the hell out of me again, so... Hmm... Huh. But Dulcheros really wouldn't do anything either. I mean, I could break his scales, you know, because I'm not sure step forward, just lots... And what do you say? Same thing. Okay. And like I said, he could probably just jump the hell out of me and overtake me, so... Uh, the question is, what should I do? You know? Should I use my one triv right now, or should I go into Dulcheros and... You know, try to do plays that way. Like, Dulcheros break one of his scales and... You know, run this guy over, or, you know, destroy his background. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to go into my Delta Rose. I think it's too early to use my one triv. So, we'll go ahead and go into Delta Rose. Just this effect. Go ahead and detach my one Deneb. I mean, I, I mean, they both do the same thing. And you already have one of him in there, effect. So, I'm assuming you only have one more of him, so I'll break your scale. What, you get an effect too? What the fuck is your effect? I didn't even read your effect. This card in the pendulum is destroyed. You can target one death spell monster. You're good. It's just something that... Mm. Okay. And do you have an effect this card is destroyed? You can target one death spell monster. You're good. your hand. Wow. So if I break your scales, they're still getting pluses. That's crazy. 
Once we're done, either player's turn, you can target one death, how much you control. Again, attack and for each death, you turn to control the second turn. Alright, all of the squad monsters. Okay. So, you mean you're only going to go up to 2,000, so. At the very least, you're not too much of a threat, but like I said, I definitely have a feeling that this death boss guy is just going to jump the hell out of me. Oh, shit, you want to 25? Against 500 attack for each death spot monster you control. Oh, uh, wait. You only control two. Unless this counts. But this is in the pendulum zone. Does that really count? Does that really count? Not completely sure if that counts. If it counted, then my bad. I did my math wrong, but... I counted two. You control. Because do you technically control this? It's not on the field. When you say control, you control on the field. I don't know. I don't know. That caught me off guard. Oops. I guess I misplayed. That was my bad. I already used the Nev effect. I already used Nuke effect. I already used Vega effect. So, there's really no point in summoning none of them. I can summon you back, but what's the point of summoning you? I guess for more defense, I guess. So, I guess memo to myself. That counts. I mean, I guess I can slap a diamond onto him, but what would be the point? None of these monsters are dark. My bad. Right. That caught me off guard. I, I, I wanted to make sure you had a thousand, then you were going to gain a thousand more to control two death spots, including itself. My bad, I didn't know it discounted. Totally didn't know it discounted. That was my fault. Spots are not bad. They jumped the hell out of you. You know, it was well, at first it seemed like it was just gonna be a emergency teleport dot deck, and now it's turned into they don't need emer I mean not emergency teleport. What am I thinking of? Uh, machine dupe. Wrong card. Why am I thinking about emergency teleport? That's another card. That's like whoa. You know, and you can just go ahead and search short scales and reset it up again. I thought I was going to be okay right now. I mean, it clearly looks like I'm about to lose. He just, he out-resourced me, he out-paced me, which is really odd to, for Teller Knight. Teller, Teller Knight out-resourced and out-paced yeah, the opponent, but you know, clearly, I mean, look at this. Look at this. He's got beaters on beaters on beaters on beaters. Like, oh my god. He's searching, he's plusing, he's summoning from the deck. Death bots are not bad. Not bad. I can destroy both my back rows. I can go ahead and summon Triv, but you know what? what you know, put all these back. Put all this back in his hand. Genius idea. Yeah. You know, at this point, it might just be best just to go ahead and exit on him. Might be best just to go ahead and exit on. So you can clearly see, even with one Demev, one Rota, I mean, plus the help of the number generator to allow me to draw into that Rota, but as you, as you can see, the deck's not dead. You know, as long as I have my Altair, the deck's, aren't, the deck's not dead. But if you put Altair to one, like I said, I would've went Altair, some Demev, search for, what, Pega? Nuke? Nothing to search for anymore. There's no point in Demev. You'd be essentially hitting, and, and hitting Altair down to one is essentially killing Demev, too. It's like, okay, I guess. I can see my pony here. Wow, okay. I don't know why you scooped. Like, nigga, you were, you were beating my ass. You beat my ass. I feel like that one guy on Zyman Y is like, well, I won. Yeah. The next turn, I was just going to go Altair, summon the Neb, search for my last Altair, uh, XC and Exiton, and wipe this shit. Probably should have Exiton before, but I kind of wanted to do plays. Anyway, let's go ahead and get another duel in. Bear back. All right. So, if we don't get the new list by next time, I mean, I guess I could try the deck with one Altair. I just don't see how I can do it. I just don't see. You know? So, I'm running cards. Of course I'm running a nuke. Of course I'm running, like, you know, like, Mathematician and shit. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's cute. That's fine. I think I'm running three call and two Oasis, because I don't set... I, I take a little bit more setup. There's my one Deneb. My question is, should I get my one Deneb? Yeah, I should get my one Deneb. Let's say, should I get my one Deneb or grab the nuke to get to Deneb? Like, no. So, at least number generator is being a little bit helpful. So, monsters that are level 4 or higher are turned defense position. So, clearly, you're trying to stall out. But that's fine. I said, I'll get you soon enough. You know. 
Belteros is going to beat that ass, so. I got my Nova, so I can go ahead and Nova whatever you activate, and then Belteros do next turn, so. But yeah, diet's going well. It just, like I said, it just sucks that I can't eat what I want to eat. You know? Like, I can, uh, protein-wise, I can only eat fish, chicken, and turkey, people. So, I can't even eat a dick. So, y'all telling me to go eat a dick? I can't even eat that! Can't even eat a dick. <laughs> I can't I can, like say that. Because <laughs> I like telling people, my friends and shit, we always joke around, but I'm going to go eat a dick. Like, oh, I'm on a diet. So, <laughs> you go eat a dick. I'm on a diet. Enjoy that dick. Enjoy the, you know what? Eat a second dick for both, for the both of us, all right? <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> all right. So, Anuk, with, with the Night Out 1, Anuk really doesn't serve much of a purpose anymore. Just because I only have one Deneb. If I get the one Deneb, what's Anuk doing, you know? It's an interesting thought process. No interesting way to think of it. So, of course, I'm going to break through the limit area B with the De uh, Deltaros. I'm going to go ahead and destroy that messenger of peace. Like, I mean, I guess I should go. Uh, Uke can Uke can't send Anuk cannon. No, it can't. Um, I'll keep that in mind. Don't use Anuk effect anymore unless you're sending Deneb. So, we'll go ahead and go into Deltaros. Like I, I just want to hurry up and get that next list just so I can know what to do with my Teller Knights. Because, you know, there's a couple of people that are just like, yeah, yeah, go ahead and get rid of your Tower Knights. You know, I'll take it. So, I said, I'm not sure if my opponent here is bad or is he just like, what the fuck? Why is your monster in attack mode? Why is your monster in attack mode? Before I declare my attack, I'm going to go ahead and activate my Oasis. Just so there, if there's something that I need to Nova during this battle phase, you know, I can go ahead and do it. And I sent my and I sent my last fucking Vega. That was dumb. I shouldn't have done that. I only run two Vegas because they're not as useful. With only you know one Deneb, so that was dumb. I was dumb with Unuk. Okay, so you're gonna do something sacky with it. I said I don't, Deneb doesn't even need to be an attack, but I'll just I'll literally beat you down with uh, Deltaros. Said you're going trying to be sacky, so duel me. Show me what you got. Banisher of Light. Okay. Okay. Hmm. I might go ahead and fiendish chain this guy, just because I don't want to get my shit banished. What, what do I have to do? Attack. I'll have a nuke. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll go ahead and detach. Nuke. Go ahead and detach it. Nuke, get banished. That's fine. I don't care about you. I don't care about you. I'm gonna kill you. So it's one of these face downs that needs to go. Okay. I guess. Cool story, bro. Take 300. <gasps> Shame on you. And I guess I'll go ahead and summon Altair. Altair summoned Vega back, XC, and to another Deltaros, clear up that other piece of back row. Then I'll have two Deltaroses being able to handle the situation just fine. No. Of course, do not detach the Deneb, because I don't want to get banished, but uh, I'll probably go ahead and detach the Vega. Deltaros again, detach the Vega, pull that up. Another DD Dynamite? Oh, your deck seems kind of slow right now. I don't I don't I don't get it. Alright, uh, toss a coin and call it. If you call it right, all your opponent's cards in the graveyard are removed from play. Ooh, if you call it wrong, send cards, then cards equal to oh, okay. Uh, okay. Well, you're gonna banish my one card. So you mill. I, what was that? I only had one card in the grave. Oh, right. I can't fucking attack because I have to send a card up the top of my deck to the bear to card attack, but then my card is banished, so I can't attack. Right. Okay, then I guess I'll go ahead and finish train you. There we go. There we go. Tricky bitch. Tricky bitch. You got me. You got me. You got me. But no, nah, I have finished chain. That's a that's an interesting combo you have there. I'm still gonna beat that ass, but cool story. Cool. 
Cool. You're like, no, he can't attack me at all. Hmm. Hmm. He's in here trying to get Saki against me. Like, no, thank you, sir. No, thank you. Another banisher. Cute. You know, I could just blow him up, right? Like shit. Yeah, blow him up. I could just blow up the fucking. I could blow up everything. Like, that's it, man. That's it, GG. Get rid of that. Get rid of him. Like, nah. You tried to be cute. You tried to stall out. That's it. And if you have something to block my attack, I got the Nova right here. And I can send to the grave right now because you're off the field. So, GG. And by GG, I mean you really didn't do anything. You're just a punching bag. Anyway, let's go ahead and get another villain. Be right back. Alright, so, so far, the deck, how it is right now, it just seems slower, you know? Like, I definitely need to open up with at least one of the cards to go ahead and summon. You know, I am running, like, the Mathematician. Because Mathematician can go ahead and summon you when we want to neb, and then I can get the ball rolling. And like I said, uh, you guys put up a lot of input on what you thought was going to get hit for Teller Knights. I was just doing mine off of just precedence and stuff. Uh, you know, just like, it's similar, this deck would just pretty much turned into like a similar version of like Invectors. That's pretty much what ha it has become, Invectors. You know, uh, you know, my kids, my Nabler's at one. My Nabler, of course, being Triv, that's at one, just like uh, Dragonfly's at one, the, the extended play enabler. I guess I'll go ahead and activate the Call of the Haunted. And uh, my consistency is much lower. One Deneb, one, uh, uh, one rotor, so my my consistency is lowered, and then I gotta run secondary consistencies, for example, a uh, mathematician and a nuclehide to go ahead and get me set up with place, just like in Zectors, which is also a deck that one world. So, I said, I wouldn't be surprised if this is the method that I do, but like I said, all tire at one now, that's just, because <laughs> I ain't searching for shit. Like, that's the, that's the problem, I ain't searching for shit. Wow, mathematician off, people. Mathematician off, so you're gonna take your mathematician and crack it with my mathematician? Damage Juggler, oh, okay. So. You can banish this card to to add one Performage. Perform yep, so, def running them uh, Performages. Very, very strong rank 4 engine. To a moment on the field, period. You can go ahead and special summon that, special summon that. That reminds me of, uh, what he's doing right now, it reminds me of uh, what OCG does. Runs that Geobite. Yeah, you control spell caster, you can special summon this, so. Not bad. You're gonna cast out my math petition. Oh, that seems like kind of a waste, but I'll give it to you. I guess you really don't want me to draw a card. I'm like, okay. I guess. I guess. Like, no, I don't want him to draw. I'd rather go neg than allow him to draw. Like, so I guess it would be the same result when you compare resources. Either I'm going to draw a card, but then my monster will be destroyed, and I draw a card, which is actually just a zero. Or, you know, I can lose a monster, but you neg on your XC summon, like, I guess. Let me play that up. So. You can clearly see, even with my Dev at 1, once I get my Dev on, I can, I can play Teller Knights, and I, said, I think that might be the most practical hit. Hit the Consistency, hit the Enablers, but still allow the deck to live. Hitting all tired at 1, that's death. That's, 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 that's death at its finest. Alright, I'll go ahead and grab that Vega. See, I can still do plays, I just, it just takes me a little bit longer to set up, but, you know, as long as Mathematician is at 3, which, and I mean, arguably that card shouldn't even be at 3, because Mathematician, I mean, send any level 4, come on, come on. You know, even OCG has that card at one. Like, Mathematician's straight up just another card. You know, Uga Nuke, Uga Nuke helps. Nuke helps. Uh, detach that to Nav, blow up your Mathematician, and run over your Castell. And you got three cards, so you're going to be down on resources. Teller Knight's a good, you know, people were discussing it, and they were like, oh, Teller Knight's are good because of their stun aspect. I'm like, no. Teller Knights don't stun any better than any other deck in yu gi Like, that, that's not what makes Teller Knights good. What makes Teller Knights good is their uh, resource management and their constant plus off of regular plays. Like, straight up. I summon Altair. That's fine. Altair summoned Deneb. That's a plus. 
didn't I have search for a monster? That's a plus two. I straight up plus two off of all time here. That's a very powerful play. But like I said, with Altair, in you would generally think, all right, let's go ahead and point fingers at a, at a, at a Altair. But then if you hit Altair, not only do you only have one Altair change, you're only doing one XP play. Because you know you can't search your Call of Hunts it's an oasis is. You go Altair, summon the Deneb. What does Deneb search for? By hitting Altair and killing Altair, you're essentially killing the Neb because that's what you search for. You know that that is your searching. That's your plus in power. No, I don't have any macro, so you know you know I'm about to set this Nova. So if you try anything slick, I'm gonna Nova you, and then I'm gonna get my Adelteros effect because I still got one more material on Adelteros. So. Might go ahead and make another Daltros. And if you try anything cute, I'm a Nova I'm a Nova my Daltros, so. See? So at least the deck's not dead. Maybe I should put Vega up to three. Maybe. Just cause it seems like two Vegas doesn't seem like enough. You know? All I'm searching for is Unu now, but now I can't I only have I can't do Vega Altair again. Hmm. So, I think this might be game. Depends on what your back row is. Oh, it's Shadal. Shadal. Clown blade, clown, clown dolls. Well, won that one. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm gonna end this because I have a thing to do. But I can clearly see once what, the deck's not dead. The deck's not dead, and just like how Insectors got here after world, the deck's not dead. Just like how Infernities technically were not dead. You know, you can still do one thing, with something with Archfiend and, and one Soul Charge. You know, you can play other revival cards, just like kind of like you could turn what uh, Infernities. Just turn what Zactors did. Uh, the only problem is with the Volwa Chain ban, I mean, that kind of hurts too. But like I said, you still have Triple Mathematician, Triple Armageddon Knight. You still can go ahead and set up your graveyard and then revive it. Uh, same thing with Teller Knights. That's what I'm saying. Altair down to one, <sighs> deck's dead. But with Deneb down to one, Rota down to one, like I said, a lot of people were saying, like, oh my god, Rota one would suck. It really would. It really would suck for everybody else. But. It would be a practical hit. It would, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they go ahead and put it down on the one. Not only can I see that, you know, Rota is a very powerful card, you know, and even with OCG having it at one with set precedent, but they even saw that worlds, you know? If all they did was put Rota down to one, it would be a nice hit to both decks, of course, because not only do, you know, Talonites, of course, play Rota, but as well as uh, uh, Necros as well, which would be a fine practical hit to both the decks if they want to hit. Uh, man, I mean, even if they really, if they even want to go after heroes, I think hit Rota. You can clearly see that all those decks are functional, uh, still to an extent, but it hurts their consistency. You know, you straight up can't say like, "Oh, Rota the one won't do anything." Like, yeah, it does. It lowers the consistency automatically. Like, it's you know, there's a difference between one Rota, one Rota, and three Rota. Straight up, just that's straight up facts. You know, you may not see it in duel, but it does hurt. Yeah, it definitely does. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised, you know. There's not really any war warrior decks that they're really concerned with. I mean, you could say Ignite, but eh, you know. There's really no warrior decks they're concerned with. Uh, you know, they put up Rota. The only reason why they put up Rota is to promote Ignites. I mean, not Ignites. Noble Knights and Teller Knights. So they already made their money off of both of them decks. So, you know, putting it down to, to back down to one wouldn't be surprised the hell out of me from Konami. And, uh, you know, Deneb. Deneb is, of course, uh, the consistency as well. With one Deneb... You know, you you have that one to dab. It's like that one uh, hornet. You got that one hornet. Ho what, that one hornet will allow you to go off. That one to will allow you to go off and keep on searching for your Altair. The uh, reason why I didn't say Altair is because I have to press it off a of wolf bark. So, like I said, Rota, Deneb, and Triv is the enabler. Triv is the dragonfly. You know, multiple Trivs is dumb. You know, even one Triv is very powerful. But, hey, you still got that one Triv. You still got that one dragonfly. So, I'm just doing my hits off of precedence. You know, majority of you guys who are saying like, oh, no, they're going to do this or they're going to do this. You don't have any precedence. You're just, you're just saying, you don't have any evidence. You don't have any precedence. You're just saying shit just to say shit and, you know, bring an argument to me. Because a lot of people are saying Nova and it's like, what, what, what precedence, what evidence, what patterns do you have for Nova? You're just saying Nova just to say Nova. Like, okay. 
Yeah. Like I said, I, I definitely I would go ahead and point a finger at Altair, but you know, with set persons on Wolfbark, I mean, I can't say that. And with and with Noden, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I guess we'll just wait and find out. But there you go. I proved that you know, even with my hits that I thought of last week with Trib to one, uh, Deneb to one, and uh, Rota to one. You know, as long as you have a nuke and mathematician, you, and you can go ahead and send them and revive them, and you'll still have your place. You'll still be okay, which is exactly how insectors are. You know, you send that hornet, you still have your place. So, anyway, tell me what you guys think. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I'll see you guys tomorrow with, uh, of course, uh, trains tagging with. You'll find out. All right, people. Thanks for watching. <laughs>